Lieutenant Carl's reporting as ordered. These are the girls from the university. You will step forward as your names are read. Claire Adams, age 26, American. Foreign correspondent for International Press Service. Wife of Philip Adams, who escaped from Japanese occupied territory and is now a member of the Office of Strategic Service of the United States Army. Yvette Aubert, age 30, French. Occupation, adventurous and entertainer. Hallett, age 27, English, wife of professor of history at the University of Shanghai, Ellen James. Ellen James, get her out. Age 16, Australian, student at the convent school. Sonia Petrovna, age 18, Russian, profession dancer. Maria Gonzalez, age 21, Mexican. You are charged with cooperating with the underground and with the murder of a German officer. Murder? A German officer? Major Karl Schroeder was murdered in the university hospital where you were all working. Oh, that's ridiculous. We had nothing to do with Major Schroeder's death. We were only working in the hospital as enemy aliens. And you have no right to question us unless a member of the International Red Cross is present. not to question the authority of Colonel von Meyer, our commandant. Turn around. Whose orders were you following when you murdered Beda Schroeder? Speak up. Well, speak up. Perhaps you would all like to go to a Japanese concentration camp where you will be put in a dungeon, starved, beaten. Now, would you talk? General Herman! I must talk to you at once, Von Meyer. Confidentially. Take them out. Ah. I just flew in from Tokyo. Sit down, Von Meyer. They dropped another atomic bomb. They did? Nagasaki is in ruins. Is that so? Field Marshal Runzel himself is flying here tomorrow. In the meantime, his specific orders are that you are to give the Japanese no plans, models, or drawings of our cosmic death ray formula. But if we are going to help ourselves through the Japs, isn't now the time to give them the plans? It's too late. Why, they can't last much more than a few weeks longer. This puts me in a terrible position. Noyama, the chief of the secret police, is bringing Kuniyoshi, the head of Japanese scientific research, for dinner tonight. They intend to inspect the plan. We must prevent that. The plans will be our secret weapon for the Third World War. It'll mean the rebirth of our master race. This time we shall not fail. You have your orders. No one must see them. 
But the Japanese are so suspicious. They've got spies and secret police all over the place. Noyama is clever and ruthless. And what'll I do with Kuniyashi? Why not tell him that the field marshal himself is coming over here to make the presentation? In the meantime, give him one of your usual parties. Seems to me that I saw a lot of very attractive girls here. <laughs> I feel certain that they can intrigue the Japanese scientists. How long do I have to delay this Kuniyashi? Until Runsel gets here. He'll take over from there. Very well. It shall be done. What a place this is anyway. It doesn't look like a prison. Oh, it's a hospital. Didn't you see the red and white crosses painted on the outside? That doesn't make it a hospital. That's probably so our airmen won't bomb it. Well, all right, you tell us. What is this place? I think it's the German officers' club. Oh, what if it is? It's better than the concentration camp. Why well, look at the worst side of things? <laughs> <laughs> I have decided to be lenient with you girls and not send you to a concentration camp until I have made a complete investigation. In the meantime, you will be my guests at dinner tonight. You may not be aware, but you are in a fine club reserved exclusively for German officers. Tonight, we are to be honored with high officials of the Japanese government. You will provide pleasant, friendly companionship. You will be gracious. For this, I may even reconsider your case. Of course, you all volunteer. I said naturally. You all volunteer! I will be happy to volunteer, Colonel. As for the rest of you, you will do as you are ordered, or you will be shot. Come on, come on, don't. Mexican, you there. English, there. Australian, there. American, here. Russian, over there. You volunteer. There.
attention. On your feet, all of you. There will be a party tonight for high Japanese officials. Instead of your regular housework, you will entertain. You will go bathe at once and try to make yourselves as attractive as possible. You will hold up your head and look at me when I speak. Lee Ling. Hello, Claire. Sheila. Maria. Helen. So this is where you've been. We all wondered what happened to you. I was kidnapped. They picked me up like a woman in the night. I was on my way out of the international settlement. They grabbed me, threw me into an automobile, brought me here. Didn't they give you any reason? No. Helen! Mother! Mother! Poor old lady, she's completely out of her mind. Mother, I'm afraid. My baby. My little baby. How did they get you here? Oh, my poor soul. I was on my way to church. It could happen to a young girl like me. Oh, save me, Mother. Help me. Bring in Demeter right away. It's Noyama of the Japanese secret police. He won't talk to anybody but you. All right, send him in. Ah, Noyama. And to what do we owe the pleasure of your visit? You will please explain why you continue to make arrests of women in a Japanese occupied zone. I didn't want to put you to a lot of bother. After all, you're a busy man, now that the war is going against you. I did not come here to discuss the war. I demand to know why you usurped the job of the Japanese police. Because the Japanese police failed to do their job. An officer of the Reich was murdered. So we made the arrests ourselves. But you have no authority. To... I have authority to do anything I feel is in the interest of Germany. You forget, my dear Colonel. There is no more Germany. There will always be a Germany. As long as one loyal German remains alive. And if you noticed as you came in, there is a German flag flying in the hallway, which makes this German territory. I am the voice of the Reich. And right now, that voice is suggesting that you leave, you and your little playmate. And suppose we don't hear the voice? Then I must see to it that you are made aware of it. Now, get out, before I throw you out. <laughs> throw me out? <laughs> We'll see who rules this part of the world. Put the handcuffs on him. Just a minute. Major Rudolf von Arnheim, Chemical Warfare Service reporting. Your order, sir? Put your guns away, all of you. <laughs> this is ridiculous, Noyama. After all, we're fighting the same common enemy. I accept your apology. Good day, Colonel. I'll see you later. It's lucky we came in when we did. Major von Arnheim is anxious to present his credentials, sir. Go. They are getting extremely difficult. Have you noticed anything? There's a lot of activity now. They've been working in the laboratory day and night. Then keep on 
very alert. You must report everything to me immediately. Your credentials are in order. But why were you delayed? We sent for you two weeks ago. I had difficulty getting through the Allied lines. Besides, I didn't know I was supposed to be here before the Japanese scientists arrived. As I understand, I'm supposed to assist in a demonstration of the cosmic ray. There will be no demonstration until the arrival of Field Marshal Runzel. I understood the Japanese were most anxious to get to work on the formula at once. Any decisions are to await the arrival of Field Marshal Runzel. In the meantime, Major, it will be our pleasure to have you as our guest. I hope to make your stay pleasant. I shall be. This business of working night and day for weeks is no good. You've got to slow down. Remember, you cracked up once before. But, but what am I to do? The detector for the cosmic ray isn't quite right. It, it isn't quite right. I must work with von Arnheim to perfect it. They're all bothering you that much, I said. These constant bombings. Day and night. First in Berlin, now here. If it would only stop. If it would only stop. It won't. Show the Major to his room, I thought. Important information that the underground is anxious to have. But how do you get it out to the underground? Very simply, we have contact with the Allied intelligence through a man who delivers our supplies. His name is. Hang them in there. Be very careful. We had great difficulty getting them. They haven't seen each other for two years. You and America talk about being human. Listen to those American bombs being dropped. They're not bombing defenseless human beings. They're bombing military installations. And they should be dropping bombs right here on this hospital. Shut up. That you're scrubbing. New arrival? Yes, this is Claire Adams. Maya. Hello. She says she's correct. Pretend she hates the Japs. It's not to be trusted. Hello, Missy. Good morning. Jack, did you find any soap? Oh, soap? Oh, yes. Good soap. We spend many hours finding soap. Missy Lane, you want some soap? Yes, she worked with us in the hospital. She's one of us. Listen. Any word on Kuniyoshi yet? There's to be a party for the Japanese officials tonight. That means he will be here. The Germans will turn over their secret weapons. Well, what can we do? Kuniyoshi must not leave here with the plans. There is also a Major von Armheim due here, an expert on electronic radiation. He and Kuniyoshi will work together. Watch him. Well, we do what we can.
time any of us has been dressed up since the war. Do you feel as strange as I do? I feel like a fox just before the chase. First they clean him and brush his coat beautifully, then turn him loose and hunt him down. Well, tonight it's women who are being hunted instead of foxes. Yes, and the hounds will all be wearing uniforms. My, how beautiful everyone looks. Isn't it wonderful what a new dress and a little makeup will do for a girl? Makes me feel like being back in Paris again. You sent for me, Colonel? Oh, yes. I want you to help me stall the cosmic ray demonstration for Kuniyoshi. Uh, talk to him at length about it. Uh, tell him how much more powerful than the atomic bomb is our new invention. <laughs> well, from my experiments, Colonel, to say it's a thousand times as powerful as atomic energy would not be an exaggeration. <laughs> Can I see that working model now so that I might talk more intelligently to him? Oh, not tonight. Kuniyoshi will be here any minute. Besides, I don't think you need see it in operation to talk about it. You've been working on certain phases of it a long time, haven't you? Oh, yes. Yes, ever since I was at college. I passed by the kitchen. The cook has prepared a superb dinner. He let me taste every dish. I thought it was the colonel you were playing up to. But does the cook appeal to you, too? Why, you ungrateful cat. If you had it your way, we'd be in a concentration camp by now. Being virtuous and noble. And hungry. Well, you can turn your backs on me. The man won't. You're just no good. You're doing nothing worthwhile to deserve to live. All right, you be fools. But I'm going to do the best of it. Besides, France is no longer at war. Maybe France is no longer at war. But the French people are. They've always fought against their oppressors, and they always will. And who appointed you to speak for the French people? No one. They had to drag me here. They tortured me. As a French woman with a sense of decency, it's disgusting to find you, you a volunteer. Line up. See to it that no wine is spilled on you. Too many gowns are being ruined. This is to be a very gay party, not the funeral. You should act happy. I expect complete cooperation from each of you. And remember, you're catering to German and Japanese officers. You should be gay, sociable, and entertaining. Don't forget, I'll be watching all of you. Go downstairs. Now. Well, I'm ready. to His Imperial Majesty. To the memory of the exalted Führer and to the great German leaders who survived him. To the complete success of our mission, Professor Kuniyoshi, may it speed the day of victory. And now I am most anxious to inspect the new weapon, Colonel. And I am most anxious to demonstrate it for you, Professor Kuniyoshi. As a matter of fact, I flew here through the American lines at great risk to myself and my crew for that purpose. Then, shall we proceed with the demonstration? No, we're waiting for Field Marshal Runzel. He insists upon being here at that time. This is no time for delay. Japan is being ruined by American atomic bombs. What possible excuse can there be for delay? Don't worry, Colonel Noyama. The Field Marshal will be here at any moment. In the meantime, relax and enjoy yourself as our friends. I'm sure the Colonel could have no objection to my inspecting the plans. Von Arnheim will be happy to show you our plans and explain the entire cosmic ray theory. In the meantime, uh, suppose we have another drink. Colonel? Maya. Uh, this is Maya, one of the young ladies of our staff. Professor Kuniyashi, good evening. Good evening, Professor. I remember, we can all be of great service to the underground. Get all the information you can. 
Don't be too obvious about it. And the two men we're after are Kuni Oshi and Mitya von Arnheim. Maya, where is Li Ling? She joined the other girls in the lounge. German officers don't lack entertainment in Shanghai. <laughs> <laughs> of course, this is a special occasion to be honored by the presence of so notable a scientist as Professor Kuniyoshi. Shall we go to the bar and have a drink? Splendid idea. <laughs> if we get separated, we will get together in the party room after dinner. There, we can exchange our information. I just hope I can go through with the plan. The thought of being civil to any of them nauseates me. My, what a bunch of long faces. Why don't you smile and enjoy yourselves? I intend to. You're not to sit here like wooden statues. You're here for a purpose. Remember? Now make yourself companionable. And you know what'll happen if you don't. Attention! Up. At ease. Would the Colonel excuse us, please? I have a delightful surprise for you, Professor. Surprise? Yes. Wait until you meet your companion for dinner. Her name is Li Ling. She is the daughter of one of the richest merchants in China. How's that for a surprise? I am so utterly unworthy of your gracious surprise, Colonel. I regret I am unable to accept. What? My humble apologies. But... Bring the girls over here. The Colonel and his party would like to be presented to all of you. You heard what I said. Get going. Yes, I am. Professor Kuniyashi, this is Claire Adams, whom you have honored with your choice. And have you chosen me, Mon Commandant? Who else? Have a good time, Von Arnheim. Thank you, Colonel. have you to make? For some reason, they're delaying the demonstration. I see. I wonder, are they really waiting for Runzel's arrival? I don't think that's the real reason. Uh-huh. Get me into that laboratory tonight. the chemical warfare service. Very interesting work. Mm-hmm. Aren't you going to join the party? Huh? Oh, yes, yes, a little later. I was just going to take a walk. 
But if you don't mind, I'll join you. Oh, here you are. Oh, yes, I... I was just looking around. This young lady is anxious to meet you. Sheila Heller, Colonel Noyama. It's a pleasure. Well, now that you've met, suppose we go to the bar and have a drink. Splendid. So you are an American. I know America well. I've been many times to your country. I went to college there. Really? After the war, I should like to live there. Of course, America would be much better off than under Japanese rule. Suppose we drink to that. I don't feel like drinking. Drink. I'm sorry I had to leave you alone so long, Kurt, but I had to entertain some officers. You know, I do have to stay right with Frau Thaler. Who's more important to you? Thaler or I? Of course you are, Kurt. You're the only thing that means anything. Still make you nervous, Kurt? Let's get out of here, Kurt. Get out of here. But too. There isn't any other place to go. It's the same everywhere. You can't escape it. You know that. You can't escape ever. There's a little room off the laboratory. It's insulated against sound. What do you know about the laboratory? What have you been doing there? Why do you get so angry at me, Kurt? Why, oh, I don't mean it. I don't mean it. I'm not myself. I, I, this constant bombing. It's making me nervous. Look at me. It's making me sick. That's it, my uh, sick right here in the bit of my stomach. It's unbearable. It's unbearable. You've been working too hard, Kurt. <laughs> You, American women, are not very attentive. They're here. They're going to kill us. Kurt! They're here. They're going to kill us. Save yourselves. They're here. Kurt! Leave me alone. They're kill us. They kill us all. They're going to kill us. We've got to get out of here. They're going to kill us. We've got to get out. Let me out. Let me out. It's, it's just bombing. Leave me alone. It's driving me crazy. You understand? It's driving me crazy. Pull yourself together. I've tried awfully hard. But I can't do it any longer. I can't do it any longer. I'll take him to his room. You'll do nothing of the kind. Get out. I'm ashamed of you, I swear. You're a German officer. Supposed to set a good example. Instead, you are behaving like a schoolgirl. I'm gonna get out. You've got to take me. You are an entertainer. Sing. Do you know Cherie? Yes. Please wait for me. Thank you. Please sit down.
live. I don't want to be killed. I know. It's easier to kill than to be killed. I've got to get away. to keep your hands off me. Miss Adams, for a moment I thought I had lost you. Did you like my song? Congratulations, Yvette. Thanks. You gave a good performance. You gave quite a performance yourself. I would like a drink. Could we go somewhere? In my office, I have some excellent champagne which I reserve for special occasions. Why not make this a special occasion? Why not? You know, the French girl seems most anxious to please. You would do well to follow her example. Will you excuse us? Certainly. You and Miss Adams don't seem to get along very well. <laughs> they all hate me because I volunteered. That's usually the way it is. Those without brains don't like the ones who have. And the sad part is that those without brains are in such a majority. <laughs> what a pity. Excuse me. Demonstration. Can we have it? No. Field Marshal Ronsel wants no demonstration until he arrives. Those are my orders. my girl for this evening. Come, have a drink. You don't seem to be enjoying yourself. Should I be? Certainly. That's what you're here for, isn't it? We are here because we were brought here and had no choice in the matter. But I'm sure the Major isn't interested in our problems. Let me go, let me go! Leave the girl alone. That man's drunk. She struck him. She shall be punished. Lieutenant Klaus, take her away. Take her out.
haven't seen you all evening. I've been wandering around. I missed you. I haven't seen the little Australian girl tonight. I'll get her. That's a very strange pair. What are you doing here? What have you done? Lieutenant Krauss? Take her away. What is the meaning of this interruption? This woman murdered one of the girls. Bring her here. Attention. Stay here. Now, what is this about murder? This woman has murdered one of the girls. Her own daughter. Daughter? What are you talking about? Who's her daughter? Helen James. What? Yes, sir. Did you kill her? I saved her. She's insane. She's crazy. Crazy? Not so crazy I couldn't save my own child. From you beasts. Stop! And then... Stop! You are stepping on the furious... Take her out and shoot her. Make you forget everything, Mon Commando. Everything. Except me. What did you find out, Sheila? I didn't have a chance to find out anything. All I know is that von Arnheim pushed me off on Noyama. Well, did he tell you anything? No. And I'd better be getting back, don't you think? Might look suspicious if we're all missing. Claire, did you find out anything from Kuniyoshi? Nothing. And I don't expect to. He's had too much to drink. Were you cordial to him? As cordial as I could be. Look, Claire, this isn't pleasant for any of us. We should not be thinking of ourselves, but what we can do to defeat the purposes. You don't get anything out of the Japs except through flattery. Compliments. I'm sure Kunio, she didn't have any fault to find with my behavior. He wouldn't have given me this key if he had. It's the key to his apartment. Let me have it. What are you going to do with it? I'll be waiting for him when you get him up to his apartment. And the next one we'll get will be von Arnheim. Should we? He seems very nice. He took our part against Frau Thaler. But that's just what I don't like, his nice manners. What do you know about him? Nothing. You saw how I slapped him when he tried to kiss me. Yes. We were watching you. Are you sure that's all you know about him? Of course. Why should you ask? Oh, I was just wondering. I thought perhaps you, too, were attracted by his funny manners. Don't be silly. Claire, we have so much at stake. 
If there's anything on your mind, you must tell us. Oh, hello, Maya. Hello. I just had to get in here to get away from those nasty Germans. Am I interrupting your gossiping? Oh, no. Uh, we weren't gossiping. I'd better be getting back. Same here. Adams, get to join me in a nightcap later? I'd love to. Oh, Miss Adams. Come here. You kept me waiting. I was about to report you to the Colonel. I'm very sorry, Professor Kuniyoshi. I didn't mean to offend him. It's so stifling and noisy in here, I have to go away for a few moments. I'm pleased to see you there. You are taking a more sensible attitude. I don't think you'll find my apartment noisy or stifling. Maybe we wouldn't. Shall we go? Very I'm sorry. I wanted to come up with you, but they wouldn't let me. What do you want? To laugh at me like the others? Oh, Kurt. I just hate to see you so nervous. There, darling. Relax. I'll stay here with you. I'm so tired, Maya. So tired and nervous. I wish I could lie here forever. Forget this useless world. apartment in this wing. Naturally. You're the guest of honor. You shouldn't be disturbed. You can be very charming when you want to be. <laughs> you can be very flattering when you want to be. Hello, Fratala. After you. Oh. After you. After you. I believe that is the American custom. We aren't in America now, Professor. You first. <laughs> Professor Kuniyoshi is a little... He is uh, very drunk. Oh, I've had a picture of this in the back of my mind for the past three years. Dream's over, Claire. I know it. I just woke up, too. What are our chances of getting out of this alive? Oh, why can't we go on dreaming? Oh, I didn't say it was hopeless. What else? Yesterday, when they brought me here, I didn't care whether I lived or died. Now I want to live. I'll get you out of this somehow. But if... Don't say it.
She's only 16. She was one of the girls who was brought in with us yesterday. Her mother was formerly a brilliant novelist. Oh, no, don't worry. Besides, there's nothing you can do about it now. Let's have breakfast. You change your clothes, and I'll go report to the Colonel. I picked a colonel. What is it? Kuniyoshi will not get the plans. He's in his room, dead. Dead? Did you get rid of the body? No, we haven't had a chance. Besides, this place will be alive in another few minutes. It's bound to be discovered. Do you all have alibis? Hello. Well, don't stand there staring at me like that. I'm sure you've all seen me before. It's lucky for you that I'm of a forgiving nature. Otherwise, I'd report your attitude to the Colonel. He'd pay attention to me, too. He likes me. All right. Then go and tell him. Tell him we don't like you. That we don't like any girl who volunteers to please German officers. Shall I also tell them that you don't like your noble Claire Adams? I just met her in the hallway. She's still wearing her evening dress. I could tell you plenty about her and von Arnheim. What is this? The Colonel wants to see you right away. You heard what I said. Hurry. Don't you give me orders. You, you old hag. Why, you, you insolent French. Volunteer? I'll report you. <laughs> we'll see who reports who. I'm sure the Colonel would believe me in preference of you. What do you mean by wasting time? Get your breakfast and go to work. What did you bring? Oh, everything you order, Frau Thaler, and much more. How did you happen to get all these wonderful things? Uh, there is a shortage of canned goods in warehouse. Uh, I thought it would be wise to lay in some extra supplies uh, before the Japanese take them all. Anything you know need up here, we can put down in wine cellar. Mm, that's good. Bring some more. Li Ling, come help me, please. Awful chance bringing this here in broad daylight. We must take chances. We haven't much time. How much more is there? Together with what we have now, sufficient to blow up the entire building. Now remember, no matter what happens, we must prevent the Japanese from getting the plans. You know what that means. There's only one chance in a thousand of us getting out of this alive. I know, dear. We've been so busy, we've had little time to think of ourselves. You know there is a great deal unsaid between us. Chan, don't. There is enough time. Someday, China will be free again. So that girls like you will have no fear of walking through our streets. Someday we will live free of conflict. And our own dreams, too. Yours, mine. So, 
sorry to intrude. Oh, you're not intruding. We were just storing some supplies. What do you want? The Colonel sent me to get a bottle of wine. I'll help you get it. Oh, don't bother. I like to choose my own wine. Mm -hmm. Quite a selection. What's in those boxes? Oh, just some canned goods. Frau Tower doesn't like the girls to come down the hair in the cellar. Well, that's just too bad. Not to take it up with the colonel. Yes, Excellency. I will take care of all arrangements at this end. Yes, Your Excellency. It shall be done. That was Field Marshal Runzel. He will be here at 7 o'clock and is bringing an extra plane. We all leave at midnight. Leave, sir? But where? Well, he didn't want to disclose too much over the long distance phone. You must keep out of sight today. I don't want Kuniyashi questioning you in ISIL. <laughs> he will be more furious than ever when he finds out Runzel won't be here until tonight. Have you seen Professor Kuniyoshi today? No. I suppose he's still up in his rooms. <laughs> perhaps last night proved too much for him. <laughs> yes, perhaps it did. <laughs> so, no one must know of Brunsel's call, or the fact that he will be here tonight. I understand. Here's the wine you sent me for, Mon Commandant. Oh, uh, yes, yes, we were just talking about it. I invited Major von Arnheim to join us in a drink. Oh, I'm sure the Major would find much more pleasure in having a glass of wine with the American, Miss Adams. She just came downstairs. But she will be busy today, looking after Professor Kuniyashi. She handled him very nicely last night. Yes, uh, she seems to have quite a way of handling things. You girls all know what to do. We cannot take any more chances. Do you think Claire talked too much to von Arnheim? As much as I hate to say it, I have every reason to believe that she is holding something back from us. There is something between them, all right. That face slapping last night was just an act for everybody's benefit. Then Van Armheim must be dealt with, the same as Tony Ocean. Don't talk to me. You must get back to your rooms at once. They're plotting. Not on. now. I'll talk to you later. There's somebody in here I've got to see. But you can't. I won't let you. Oh, now, look, don't worry. I'll be right back. So I was explaining to her that I wanted this brooch because I said it would be just beautiful to be worn here on the left side of my lapel. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Where's Chang? Chang? Yes, the boy who delivers the supplies. I want to see him. Yvette said he was here. Why, you just missed him. It's his basket, isn't it? roof on Bubbling Well Road. Your shortwave stations WX214 for all radio communications. Does that satisfy you? Yes, but I was not told that you were to impersonate a German officer. That was due to a last minute change. We were able to intercept the real von Arnheim who was on his way here to meet Runzel. There's a lot of work to be done before 7 o'clock tonight. Yes, now look. You will meet me at Senmoy Art Shop. Go in there and ask for a Chinese Buddha. A Japanese officer will speak to you. He's one of us. You stupid coolie. Next time, bring on your tool. Now, get out. You girls, get on back to the dormitory before I report you to Brown Collin. You, pour me a cup of coffee. Went in to make up his room. I could hardly get the door open. His body was blocking the entrance. I called Lieutenant Crowley. You say he was stabbed between the shoulder blades? Yes. It must have been thrilling, wasn't it, Claire? I've never been.
been so frightened and so stunned in all my life. I wanted to run right up and throw my arms around him. Naturally, I wanted to tell you all the moment I saw him. Of course, that was out of the question. We had only six months together. All I had dreamed about came true. He was all I ever wanted. From now on, we'll all have to pretend that he's a German officer. We won't let you down, Claire. And we'll all... Why not? That's what you are. If you were back in France, they'd shave your head. They did all the rest of the collaborators. You have no sense of decency, or else you would be on our side. Don't you realize that we're all risking our lives? Why should I risk my life? You cheap tramp. Attention, all of you. Report to the colonel in his office immediately. You will come now. Japanese are so suspicious. And what will I do with Kuniyashi? Yes, that's true. But I can't see why you're so excited. It's the best thing that could have happened to us. What do you mean? We can tell the Japanese we gave Kuniyoshi the plans and he left with them. He had a plane waiting to take him to Tokyo. We can hide his body and get out tonight before arousing their suspicions. Yes, you have a good idea there. But we must still conduct this investigation for our own protection. Whoever killed Professor Kuniyashi is a spy connected with enemy intelligence. We will question the girl. Well, bring the women this way. Anything else, sir? Line them up. Yes, sir. March them over here. I will find out what happened. Yvette Aubert. What do you know about this? I don't know what you mean. Professor Kuniyashi was murdered last night. This time, the murderer will be found and shot. Oh, come on, Doc. You know where I was last evening. Claire Adams! You were with Professor Kuniyoshi all evening? Only until I brought him to his room. Do you expect us to believe that? That's true, Colonel. I can vouch for Fräulein Adams. And so can Frau Tuller. Can't you, Frau Tuller? Yes. Kuniyashi was very drunk. She walked into his room and left him. Major von Arnheim picked her up and carried her off. Well? One of you girls was responsible for the death of Professor Kuniyashi, and I intend to find out which one. If the Colonel will excuse me, I'll take care of that little matter we discussed. Have you heard anything suspicious? Have you heard the girls talking? Well, answer. No. Nothing. Li Ling. You hate the Japanese. You would have enjoyed killing Kuniyashi. Yes. It would have been an honor. Now then, tell us what happened. 
Were you in his room, waiting for him? Did you... His Excellency, Colonel Noyama. Keep the girls out of here and see that they don't talk to anybody. Out. Everybody. So, Noyama, you decided to visit us again. I thought I would drop over to see our good friend, Professor Kuniyoshi. Oh, yes, yes. Uh, Professor Kuniyoshi and I spent a most enjoyable evening. I might say we accomplished a great deal. Li Ling, come here. You and I will go to the cellar and bring up some wine. Oh, you needn't bother, Frau Tyler. I'll be very glad to do it. I said we'd do it. You go immediately. I'll be along in a minute. You, English girl, over here. Polish the silver. Every bit of it. You know, Yvette, I'd like to take you apart and see what really makes you tick. What do you mean, tick? Well, a puzzle. A sort of a split personality. You act like a devil, but when the time comes to pay off, suddenly you're a good little angel. What are you up to, anyway? You wouldn't understand. Right after the war had started, your kind wouldn't even talk to me. Just because I played up for the colonel, you treated me like dirt. Called me indecent, no good. Collaborator. She'd been driven off naked, beaten. Your own family butchered me before your eyes like cattle. Then you would understand. They were going to kill me too, and I escaped. And then, because I was hungry and I wanted to live, I took up with Jennifer Hansfeld. But he was killed just before he got to Shanghai. So I had my choice. Germans or Japs. That's why I volunteered. You continuously snubbed me. All the time, I was just as good as any one of you. We turned them over to Kuniyoshi. He had a private plane waiting. He's on his way to Tokyo with them. I'm surprised that the Japanese Secret Service doesn't keep better watch on its important men. Perhaps the Japanese Secret Service has been too busy doing the work of the German military intelligence. What do you mean? Just that your trusted Captain Fordunheim is an imposter. <laughs> you are imagining things, Noyama. May I acquaint the Colonel with these facts? The real Captain von Arnheim is dead. The man you have believed to be von Arnheim is a member of the United States Army, Office of Strategic Services. His name is Lieutenant Philip Adams. Adams? Are you sure? We have absolute proof. The pilot was captured by us who flew him over the line. Did it? Adam. Clear Adam. No wonder he got along with that American wildcat. You have bungled again, Colonel. What kept you so long? I was just about to take it upstairs. Why were these canned goods not placed on the shelves? But you were in a hurry for the wine. I'll be glad to do it later. So this is what Chang brought. Who was in this with you? 
you. There's the one. Claire, they found out about you and Philip. Found out? No, Yama told the Colonel. I must warn Philip. You must run for your own life. They're going to arrest you, too. So, you thought you were foolish. You trapped all of you. So he's your husband. Well, you shall die. Both of you. You shall die just as that Australian woman died this morning. You volunteer. You betray us. You betray everybody. You shall be hanged as a traitor. Let me go. Let me go. She's dead. She must have stumbled across that barrel when she tried to get away. What did you mean by your dynamite? They'll all be shot when they find her. No. What if Claire gets away? How? What do you mean? Take her keys, put on her cape, and run to the courtyard. Then I can warn Philip. But I can't let you stay here. Nothing's going to happen to us. They'll think that you've killed her to get away. But you must hurry. Come on, let's go. I am taking care of this. My staff is making a thorough search. Well? He's not anywhere in the club, sir. And his wife? We find no trace of her either. Impossible. There's no way for her to get out. Then where is she? No one has seen her since she left this office, sir. We checked everyone. Officers, nor the girls. Use a little special persuasion on them. I want that girl and her husband. Find them. Bring them back. Dead or alive? Not so fast, my dear Colonel. We no longer trust to the ability of your men. We'll handle this little matter ourselves. What about the bridge? We have already sent men to blow it up. Lee and Wong will guard this gate. All right, I'll make my report immediately. Any further instructions? I think that is all, Mr. Adams. It's about time for me to leave. Rilts will be there any minute. Lee Ling will know what to do with the girls. We will take care of the guards. If anything should go wrong... Philip! Claire! How'd you get here? I'll die. What happened? They know about Philip. He can't go back. They're combing the city for him. Well, how'd you get out? Through the courtyard door with Sartala's key. She's dead. Anybody see you, Lee? No. What about the others? They'll be safe. The Germans will think I did it. What about Runzel's plans? To seek out his plans, we must act quickly. We leave at once. Give me the key, please. Look out! Take her away. One moment, Major. We have business to discuss privately. Oh? I'll get to the point, Major. If you are clever, I'm sure we can work out your present predicament to our mutual advantage. Why don't you get down to the point? Counterintelligence informs us that the Nazis are planning to double-cross us. I have a proposition for you. In exchange for information that will help us. The thing you asked me to do would be traitorous. Too bad. Your wife, she is so charming. Surely, Major, it would be worth a little information to prevent her from being Miss Peter, shall we say? Well, here's my final offer. Colonel Niyama has authorized me to guarantee you your freedom and that of your wife, if you will give us the necessary information. No, no, Major. Ordinarily, I would not need this. In my country, I'm jujitsu expert. You give me no alternative. Officer to officer. One last cigarette.
Marshal Baron Oslo. General Hoffmann. Good evening, Colonel Homayas. It is a pleasure, Your Excellency. Welcome back, General Hunman. Let us get met us right away. The Japanese general staff should be here in a moment. A drink while we wait. What kind? My special brandy, Napoleon, 1870. Good. A rare treat these days. Your Excellency had a pleasant journey. A very pleasant journey, Major. Thank you for the inquiry. Now, what about the Kuriyoshi matter? Do the Japanese know about it? No, Your Excellency. We told them he took our plans back to Tokyo. Good. We must delay them until we can get out of here. Is everything in the laboratory in readiness? Of course, Your Excellency. Get all the men you can. We are packing all our experiments on the planes and take off. But where are we going? I've arranged for a secret hideout where we can work in quiet and seclusion. We shall take one of our most important technicians. Cosmic ray must be kept secret from the world until we can use it for the rebirth of the German Reich. Can we do it? Certainly. We and we alone will own it. In a few years, we shall rearm Germany with it. Then we shall dominate the world. And this time, there will be no mistakes. His Excellency, General Mitikoya, Colonel Noyama. Gentlemen, good evening. Good evening, General. Good evening, General. Good evening, Marshal. Colonel, be seated, please. A glass of champagne to refresh you after your journey? Delighted. Did you have a pleasant trip? Charming. You, Colonel? Most enjoyable, sir. This is an occasion to which Nippon has been looking forward. And one which will mean so much to all of us, General. I trust that you have been in the best of health, sir. Thank you. Gentlemen, close it. Colonel, we miss our good friend, Professor Kuniyoshi. Will you please have him informed that General Metakoya has arrived? But Professor Kuniyoshi is not here. He took our plans and flew to Tokyo. That seems strange. He said those were his orders, sir. He had a private plane waiting. His plane is still waiting. What is the meaning of this, Mitikoyo? Excellency, if you will ask this girl, she can tell you why Professor Kuniyoshi is not here. Professor Kuniyoshi was murdered last night. Murdered? Your explanation, Colonel. Why was I not informed of this? I first wanted to find the one who killed him, uh, to hand over to Colonel Noyama for proper punishment. Your failure to notify the Japanese authority immediately is unpardonable. In a few hours, we would have found the guilty girl. The colonel means girls. The Yama is right. It is that one. But all who are guilty. Sir, I was trying. Trying is not enough. Your methods are very clumsy. We will show you the Japanese way. We do not accept failures or excuses. We make sure these girls have proved themselves to be more than dangerous. They have helped a spy to betray us. And they have dared to lay their hands on a Japanese scientist. The death of all of them cannot pay for his life. But it can make sure that the guilty are punished. And it shall be done at once. You asked me to come back, mon commandant? Not now. Take her out with you. Wait. This girl is a volunteer, General. She has been helping us to find Professor Kuniyoshi's murderer. I feel it is my duty to ask you to spare her life. Is that right, Maya? No, she is not one of them. Take her out, Maya. And tell Okunachi to shoot the others. Oyama. Why did you permit Kunoshi to be murdered? Permit? Was it because you were afraid of what he would find out? That you had no intention of turning over your secret weapon? You forget yourself, Noyama. They're accusing one of my officers. It is not I who forget, Marshal. It 
just that one, but all who are guilty. Take her out, Maya. And tell Okanati and shoot the others. This girl is a volunteer. Spare her life. She is not one of them. You volunteer. You cheap tramp. You have no sense of decency, or else you would be on our side. Don't you realize that we're all risking our lives? What did she mean by your dynamite? Put that out, you fool! of the tooth are most irritating. Ayama, I give you personal custody of the field marshal and all the others. Arrest them. Just a moment. Arrest. It was our only chance. Quick now, the plans. You must get out of here. <laughs> 